All right, folks. So in order to do this activity, you need a pencil, you need a sketchbook page, you need a pen, and you need the worksheet. I'm not using the worksheet. I'm just using a piece of paper because I already know the directions. So you're going to also use this paper, this worksheet as a straight edge. So first you're going to turn your sketchbook page horizontal. This, the page that I happen to have today just has the holes over here. Yours probably is going to have holes over here if it has holes at all. And you are going to take this piece of paper. You're going to line it up parallel to an edge and you're going to draw a line across using the pencil. You're going to keep these lines kind of light. I'm going a little darker than you probably should just so it's visible in the video. Let's do that a little darker. But realize the darker you do your lines, the more you're going to have to erase them later. Then about one finger width down, you're going to do another line. Following that straight edge, try to make them as parallel as possible. It's okay if they're not perfect. All right, and then you are going to write your name or nickname, anything that you want that is based in your first, real first or last name. I'm letting you do a nickname because it needs to be about five letters. You can get away with six. I don't want it less than five. So if your name is Ben, you could call yourself Benny. I don't care. But I want you to have about five letters. And I don't want you to have like 20 letters. So five or six, no more than six. And then in blockish letters, you're just going to write the letters of your name nice and big so that there's a bit of a space between them and that they almost touch the top and the bottom. So I did chess instead of chesser, I did chess. That's your next step. Now you're going to create a block letter that actually touches the top and bottom line. So what I'm going to do, because block letters are sometimes tricky, I'm just kind of going to outline each of my letters. Now, that one went a little too far. You want to make sure there's a space between each of your letters. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to do this H right here. So I leave that space. I'm going to put my letter here. Now I just realized I cut through the center. So I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to erase these lines. So now I have a big block H. Now E, I'm going to make sure I leave myself a space. Make sure you leave yourself a space. This is important for the next step. Now you'll notice that I am making each of a shape around or through each of these letters. Now the S, I'm going to make it touch up there. I'm going right around it, coming down. Make a shape up here, going right around it. Now this one, I'm running out of room. So I'm going to make this shape. Whoop, uh-oh. Oops, made a mistake. It happens. I'm oh, sorry. All right. My camera's kind of shaky today, guys. Sorry. So I'm going to start on this side. There we go. I'm making sure there's still a little shape there. That S looks a little wonky, but that's okay. All right, so I've got that all the way done. Now, the next step is you're gonna add a vertical line at the front and at the back. Now, my lines didn't go far enough here, so I'm just gonna make them go here. So that they're, so I'm essentially making a big box around my letters. Now, I'm gonna go at it with the eraser again. I'm gonna be a little careful so I don't make y'all seasick. And everywhere where there's a letter, I'm going to erase, I'm also going to erase my other lines while I'm at it. Anywhere where there's a letter, I'm going to erase the top and bottom line. So that all I have are the negative spaces in between. So see how I'm skipping there because it's the space between letters. I'm skipping there because it's the space between this H. And if you erase a line and you realize you shouldn't have erased it, you can go back and fix it. So I'm erasing my, my, my original letters and I'm erasing those top and bottom lines so that those spaces are connected. 
Uh, oops, this guy here doesn't touch enough, so I'm going to go in and make him touch a little bit more. There we go. So now the second to last step, you are going to trace each of these new wonky shapes with your pen. These are now your spaces. So see, I'm skipping there. There's the block. I'm skipping there. I'm going slow because I didn't erase perfectly because I didn't want to make y'all seasick. So that I don't go over the areas where the letters are. And see this wonky space ties to that wonky space. There we go. Now, if your letters is, are mostly straight edges, you're, you might have more spaces like these C's and H's. The more curves you have, it's a little trickier. If you want to make your letters really, really blocky to make it a little easier, you can do that. All right, there we go. Now, if you want to take an eraser and clean up the rest, you can. And then you can take the pen and you can do some Zen tangles. I am not doing Zen tangles because they take too long. I am just quickly shading this in so you can see the spaces where you're shading things in. So these spaces here can either be colored neatly with colored pencil or they can be Zen tangled. They can be that you can do a variety of the two. So you could put some Zen tangle patterns with pen inside them and then color inside. But I want you to make this piece for the remainder of the period. I want you to make this as pretty as you can. You can even add patterns or add drawings around it. But you see, I want the space, these new spaces colored or shaded in one yeah, it could be even multiple colors, but I want these colors shaded in. And if you do choose to do the letters, the letters in your background have to be the same. So one positive and negative shape practice is due at the end of the period.